Welcome back to Big in a Small Town. I'm Brooke Pashley, and we are in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, in our third and final province of this leg of our Cross Canada journey. And there has been no shortage of talent, as we'll hopefully see from our next finalist, Amy Nelson. All right, Amy, the music teacher, where are you from? I'm from Regina. You're from Regina. We're here in Saskatoon today. Um, I want to know, what is the biggest lesson your, your students have taught you as a teacher? Oh, goodness. Patience. Yes, I have become much more patient since I've been a teacher, and uh, it's something that hopefully I'll be able to use <laughs> later on in life. Well, that is a good skill to have, but right now, we got to get to it, so I'm going to send you on your way. Good luck. Thank you. Over the past four years, Amy has been nominated for 14 Saskatchewan Country Music Awards. Her new album includes three songs produced by her mentor, Jesse Farrell. Amy, you're here. I'm here. Awesome. So walking down, it's a long walk. What was going through the, the old noggin? <laughs> um, don't fall, don't trip, <laughs> right? and, and next downhill. time wear different shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bit of a slope. <laughs> I'm sure it's nice in the winter for tobogganing. <laughs> yeah, um, so tell us why you're here. My name is Amy Nelson, and I'm based in Regina, Saskatchewan. And when I'm not on the road for music, I work as a high school teacher. I'm teaching music. I love music. It's fun, so can't complain. I think of myself as a singer, but I'm also a songwriter. And um, with the experience that I have, I can conduct a choir. I can conduct a full band or orchestra. You know, I've never pictured myself to be somebody that music came easy to. I wasn't one of those people that was given a guitar and just played a beautiful song right away. It's always been something that I worked really hard at. So anytime somebody comes up to me after a show and says, wow, you've got just this beautiful voice, every single comment like that means so much to me because I've worked really, really hard to get here. You know, I've been very, very lucky to come from a family that's so supportive. My family's not overly musical, but they are the most supportive family you could ever ask for. So they come to all my shows. They are so excited for me every time something happens. And I don't think everybody has that support, but having a, a sort of cheering team around you certainly helps you get through those tough days. Lots of times you think things are gonna go a certain way, and no matter how hard you plan for things, you could have a show that you think is going to be your best show ever, and nobody shows up. It's the persistence of people that really inspires me, because sticking with it generally tends to pay off. One thing I know for sure is that no matter what, I am still doing what I love. So if an opportunity like this comes along, great. And if it doesn't, I still get to wake up every day and be a musician and record and have a CD. And I still get to do it. I still get to perform. And so I know that I'm just going to keep on going with it because I love it. Think about how it ain't fair. You weren't there to braid my hair like mothers do. Nicely done. Amy, you have an, a nice, soothing, sweet voice. The, the tone of your voice is, is quite nice, particularly for that song. Yeah, I thought you had great tone and, uh, um, you know, pitch was perfect. Thank you. Um, it's, it's a great song. Do you play other instruments too? I do, yeah. I work like as a music teacher, so yep. I had to learn how to play all the instruments in a band. So <laughs> yeah. give me a tuba or a clarinet and... That's what I want. Yeah. I want to see a tuba now. <laughs> Amy, great performance. Did you feel confident about that one? Yeah, I was happy. Yeah, it was exciting to perform for Gordon Casey too, so. Awesome. Now, what did you learn from that? I mean, you're a teacher every day, but uh, <laughs> what kind of lesson did you just learn yourself about maybe even yourself? 
just to be prepared. I can't tell you how many times I've played that song in the last three days. So the, the more prepared you can be for something like that, the better. Thank you.